And then, ah, I and then, think, I don't know, I think I just discovered how the radio works, but I'm not sure. Ah, cool. <clears throat> Let us ponder, <clears throat> open up this well, here RLM page. Did I shut it down? I did? It's sh this show, so we're live right now. Okay. Let us ponder yeah, over I, the honor. Yeah. I shut down my, my uh, RLM link. Oh, no, wait, that's game link. Hold on a minute. Maybe Rock I'm roll. looking at the wrong button. There it is. This old guy stuff is a lot of fun. Are we figuring it out? I uh -oh. think so. It says now <laughs> live. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? I think so, yeah, Brian. Well, but you know burlap makes me itch. Anyway. Anyway. Hmm. Anywho. Welcome anyhow. to the dorkiest dork table that we've ever probably done. This is Flash and... Gramsy or Grammy or whatever. I'll answer to just about anything. What the hell? I don't care. Stick with Grammy. And we're at reallibertymedia.com. In the chat room today, we have some bots and bodies. And thanks a lot for uh, giving us a place to play with here on the uh, reallibertymedia.com, Grim. Bots and yeah, bodies Grimmy. time, all you lucky people. Grimmy's the man. Over here in the RLM chat, which is reallibertymedia.com. Come on over. Think of a nickname. Join the chat. Give us some static, and, well, I'll let Flash deal with you. In any case. <laughs> Thanks, Juan. You're welcome. I don't wanna. The Dork Cakes just joined us. Hey, right mental. Up top, we've got Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world, closely followed by Beetle. Hey, Beetle. Beetle. Hey, Dylan. Hey, Beetle. I also see Grimner, the RLM god, and the lovely Moose Quail, and they had a freaktastic freaker ball last night, although I haven't listened to it yet, but Flash told me about it, and so therefore, it must have been freaktastic. I will have to catch it later. Not right now, because I'm saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> I also see the lovely She's Miss Kate is right. here. Hey, Miss Kate down in Florida. Please, batten down the hatches, lady. Be careful with... There's some blustery going on in your neck of the woods. I also see Anti is here, as well as the Asmodeus Asmo. <laughs> Chalsa Denis, without the O. Get that O out of here. I heard that O is being canceled. The magazine, oh, darn. I feel bad. Not. <laughs> I also see Chloe is here, as well as Flash, somebody. Yeah. And Frumpy Work is here. Yeah. Hey, Frumpy. Yeah. I'm here. Hey, JJ's. No, 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 no. JJ's that yeah, Scottish geez. feller with the kilt. Yeah, the I, kilter. Yeah, the kilter guy. Let's hope <laughs> he's not down in Florida. He's not off, kilter, off, he's off his kilter. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, made me laugh. <laughs> oh, well. We also okay. got a Meister Brow here, Meister eh, Brown. Woody? Woody. Got some prints going on in the chitty chat, as in in print, as well as Rob Woik. Thank you for firing up that bubbler. The bubbler. Uh, hurricanes cause corona. I thought corona cured us from everything. I thought the Rona was the savior of the world. Nobody dies of anything but Rona anymore. So obviously it's cured everything else. <laughs> I also see Trust No One is here, as well as Van Meter. Hey, Donna. We got a lovely Ms. Vanna Whitebot, the letter turner of the RLM channel, as well as W4DKV, who just never learns you don't come between Vanna White and Weather Dork. Because that's why Weather Dork is blowing up such a blustery whatever. Yeah. Coming in going, yo, 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 get out from between me and my woman bot. Oh. I also see Phantom is here. This is a Phantom. Oh, no, it's a Phantom. It's a Phantom. <laughs> CC66 is also here, as well as a Chloe. Mm -hmm. A Tripoli. Mm -hmm. A Tripoli. That's mm -hmm. country. For those of you that don't know any geography. Is it? It's over by Africa. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. no shit. No, yeah. it's in Africa. Well, continent. At least it was when it was there. They might have blown it up. And then you renamed, never know. And then renamed it. The probably... Shores of Tripoli. <laughs> <laughs> I also see cyborg noodles here. May you be touched by the cyborgian noodliness of it all. And looky there. There again is that door cakes as well as and Viv <laughs> and a regular frumpy. Oh, we got a lurky four. Oh, Or yeah. lurky. 
Maybe that's a lurky IV. No, Is that's, that an IV uh, that you don't know? I'm not reading Roman numerals, you weirdo. Come on. <sighs> Pretend you're in school, weirdo. not paying attention again. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, Mary, well, it's Roman numerals. Wake up. <laughs> what? Okay. I, doing I also see of your Matt WJ two thousand and two, as well as some pom 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 sauce. Some Mataz is also here. The holiest Roger ever. Ever. And to round out the crew, the one, uh, the only Z picks. So that is all the bots and bodies in the RLM chat as of this moment in time. Yeah, and this is the first day of August. A goose. A goose. And, you know, I keep, I keep seeing, all, you know, is that like a goose from like, see, now I'm doing the whole Willy Wonka reference thing again <laughs> like I was Tuesday. Uh-oh. A goose. Uh, that's how it's spelled, dear. I didn't write uh, it. I'm just reading it. I observe and report. You know what yeah, happens yeah. in a goose every year so far? For a while. So far? Yeah, for a while. For a while? Yeah. My birthday. Yeah, you know who else has a birthday this month? Uh, Grimmy does. That yeah, mean? at the end, in like twenty four. So we got yeah. three weeks. Because he's a he's a Virgo, where I'm a Leo, and, and he's hitting the big so. six zero. Woo! Yeah, Woo! Grimmy, the it's all good because you take away that magic zero at the end, and you're six <laughs> years old. You can go around and piss people off and go, "I'm only six years old." Uh, yeah, so it's all good. Just leave the shotgun in the truck when you do that. <sighs> True. Anyway, anyway. True. So, anyway. we're today's show, you know what I called it? Oh, I yeah. Don't know we're what on the 1st it. of August in 2020. You're going to suffer for my bad health. Sweet. Now, does that just send a dinger off in your head, little missy, or is it my imagination? Um, y- n- n- it's. Because you in the you know it's a, it's along the same lines as you're gonna suffer because I'm a feared. <laughs> well, I just thought that at the the conversation we were having before we aired, that it was just fitting because of what you were talking about. True. True. And and people in, in their ignorance. This is why I don't like other people a whole fucking lot. Is instead of saying I don't know, let me check. They will make up something that's comfortable for them and blame their boss. Wow. What, what if you don't have a boss? Uh, okay. Blame or blame the person. person. No, no. It's got to be, there's got to be a connection to, to make it seem like it's possible and true. You know, like, Jerry told me to do this if you weren't, if Jerry wasn't around. Well, Jerry's not but around. But the government says right. But Jerry's not around to ask Jerry. So you give the old lady the you know the heroin that she's not supposed to take. Ah. Right. Because see, you I, you were supposed to ask Jerry. She wants it. Well, let me go check with Jerry and see what Jerry says. Well, if he's not there, some people just say Jerry was there and he told me to give it to you. What? Well, well what what if what if Jerry is a girl? Well. I thought Jerry was a girl. Isn't that a girl's name? Oh, okay. Well, it can be. I thought it, can it was. Be a guy or a girl. All right. Well, it rhymed with Mary. I thought it was a girl name. <laughs> <laughs> Terry. Wait, Larry. Hmm. There's a flaw in my plan. I got a brother named Larry, too. Do you? Lucky, uh-huh. lucky Larry. <laughs> I know. Anyway. And I have a, cur- a cousin named Jerry. Anyway, so, what I was and, really... And Jerry's a girl. But what I was ranting about... <laughs> Is how people will tr- do things in the guise of helping you, but they're so lazy about helping you, they don't think about, they might be fucking you up, helping you. And it, then they blame somebody in the third party to get out of responsibility for doing what they should have never did. Because they didn't ask. Hmm. Oh, come on. It's I've been around 60 years. Hey, shut up, Hannibal. Yeah, I put my doggies outside because Snuffles decided that now is the time to bark at butterflies. I have a uh, Cirque went to a party at her aunt's for the birthday, and I've been to one of those parties. Wow. 
Oh, yeah. one of those parties. Oh, huh? yeah. It's a big, big party they have. The family outside in the yard under a tent, tables and food, music. It's pretty big. But oh. she all right, she didn't want to take Hannibal. I didn't want her to take Hannibal either. So, anyway. Anyway, anyway. Uh, we, we were talking about this thing that we can't really talk about, apparently. So, let's switch gears and go somewhere else. Try to be sneaky. But it's related to... You're going to suffer for my lack of being responsible for my own health. You're going to suffer for that. Take it away, Mary. You know, I happen to know people like that. You mm-hmm. know, they they do all kinds of bad things for their health, and then you're the one that has to clean up after them. So that, is that what you mean by I'm going to suffer? Other than, you know, other than, you know, all of these people out there that just do not do a really good job of taking care of not only their physical health, but also their mental health. Be very, very careful what you allow to come in and take root inside your mind because that can also mess with you. <laughs> and and those are the ones that you really have to suffer for because those are the ones that, holy smokes, they make sure you suffer because they get in your face. And even when you're not there, they still, you can feel the vibes coming off of them. So <laughs> you have to put up your little... See, and now I'm going all Fauci on you. You have to put on your bubble clothes. Get that bubble shield going on so that whatever they say just bounces off of you and lands right back on them. So, yeah. Have you ever seen that Dr. Fauci speak? Yes, I have. I actually watched when uh, uh, Representative Jordan uh, was questioning him. I watched a little clip about that. Holy mackinoli, that, I mean, he he reminds me of the rat from The Secret of Nim. <laughs> but, <Okay. laughs> you know, it's one of those things where it's like, wow. dude, seriously, talk about trying to tap dance and your tail is nailed down to the floor, so you're just spinning. Oh, and everybody else is too. going, yeah. wow. Well, wow. the public seems to think that he is the world's uh, expert. On, an, on viruses. Now he may well be, but whatever the fuck he's in, he's knows, it doesn't apply to anything that's happening. <laughs> and and well, he's been caught backtracking, and and they were just asking him yes or no questions, and he would not commit. He was just double talking them. And this is the leader of the fucking medical establishment. You guys are doomed, man. Well. Hmm? Yeah, it's a, it's amazing that he has lasted as long as he has in gooberment, and yet it's not because it's like okay, these are the kind of people that gravitate towards gooberment to start with. Hmm? That oh, yeah, there are times when I just want to go, oi, they. <laughs> he sounded worse than me, Mary. And I can be awful stuttery and incomplete in an answer. But You know, I always wondered, ever since I heard uh, Bill O'Reilly say the word bloviating years and years and years ago, <laughs> I always wondered what that word, you know, how to properly use it in a sentence. Well, now I know. He's bloviating out his backside is what he's doing. And it's like, oh, dude, seriously? It's selling like hotcakes, though. People are yes. sucking it up and loving it big time. And that's what I was getting to about you're going to suffer for my bad health decisions. You know? mm. i seen a video of a woman in a grocery store, mask, and a woman with kids, no masks. And, mm-hmm. and the woman with the mask was the one doing all the yelling and screaming and cussing and wishing people were dead. And the yeah. woman that wasn't masked was just, okay, you fucking nut job, well, whatever you think. As trying far as to I remain tell. calm and say, I can't believe you said that to my children. Yeah, she's got yeah. kids with her. I hope you all fucking die. Wait a minute. No. That doesn't... And see, you know, when I first saw that, mm-hmm. that was like within a half an hour after I got told by one of my nieces that it's, those anti-maskers that are the violent ones and the abusive ones. And then I saw that video and it's like, oh, <laughs> I need to share this to her <laughs> just so I can say, 
Yeah, tell me again how the anti those without a mask are the violent and abusive ones. I'd like to hear your explanation on this one. So, yeah. But I didn't. I I was tempted to be a spiteful snot and then I went no, so I'm just bringing it up now on the radio and being a semi-spiteful snot. Yeah, well, don't forget that the, the snot blows both ways. I mean, I am sure there are people who do not wear masks that go out of their way to uh, bother and inconvenience those yo-yos out there that do. Oh, I'm sure. <sighs> I'm sure. Now, when you do a divide and conquer... There are cats and assholios in every walk of life. Right. When you do a divide and conquer... You gotta have an enemy. No enemy, no fight. Get it, people? Get it? I know. <sighs> it's kind of crazy like that. How can you have an adversarial role if you don't have an adversary? Because some politician idiot somewhere got it rolling that if you don't wear a mask, you're a threat to the people that wear them, which is kind of contradictory in itself. But if you're dealing, I know. if there. If they're wearing a mask mm. for their protection, mm. you know, from all of the germs and Germans that mm. might be out there, because, you know, them Germans, too, because Hitler, because, <laughs> yeah, Hitler comes up on a lot of shit. Oh, God. <laughs> In any case. The best you know, Jew that ever that. lived, Hitler. I know. They, they're they wearing that mask for their own protection, but by God, for my protection, you should wear one, too. Once again, that's that whole whole mindset of... This tastes nasty. Here, you drink it. Wow. You know? But, yeah, too, it's, but it's, you know, it's gone further than that. Way further. Oh, it has. It has. It's It's gone to the point where I'm afraid, so you must do this, which is basically, I've I've made this choice for my health, and damn it, you must do it, too, because I said so, because, Well, I figure we got about four months of this COVID shit left to deal with. Then the election it, will hit, and then they'll forget about the whole COVID thing because it's you know every well, every noticed, election there's a panic. See, see, living over here in USA, mm -hmm. I have noticed that a lot of the end of the mandate is November fifth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the elections are November third. Oh, so you think? Well, Trump's already trying to postpone well, it, right? No, oh, he's not trying to postpone it. He throws that shit out there. Okay, all you right. You know, if nothing else, he is very good at throwing shit out there just to get pip people pissed off and talking. Well, I was going to make a point what? of something else, but go ahead. Well, I, I really do. You know, the more I watch him, the more I think this guy is the master at trolling people, okay. if nothing mm -hmm. else. It, what really he, wasn't about the Trump guy. It was about... That everything that I've ever been told in my life that will never happen in America has happened. And yeah. this is just the last thing that got my attention that they said will never happen in America. So what I've been trained yeah. to believe is when I hear those magic words, this will never happen in America, it's going to happen before the year's up. That's what I know. Okay, Maybe I'm wrong. And it doesn't have anything to do with Trump. I was just using that because that's what it was about. You know? Well, Trump is in Trump. the position. You know, I never thought a lot of shit that went down during Dangleberry's time in that specific building was going to happen either. But Dangleberry oh. got away with an awful lot of shit. Of course, you know, it's easy to get, a lot, get away with shit when you are a shit that's just kind of hanging on. <laughs> but, you know... Yeah. Trumples is, and, and I've been listening to different things, you know, and even people that are on the existential side, on the spiritual side, on the, I listened to a gentleman the other day, actually, that, and I can't remember his name now, I was going to look it up, look up his website, I may have to find that video again, but he was saying that Trump is the perfect jester, jester, if you look at the um, tarot cards, and you get the Joker card. The Joker card is a card of change, transformation, ending of one thing and beginning of another. And he said Trump is really a very good jester. You couldn't have had anybody be better at what he's doing right now, which I don't think you could. Because you at, you take the arrogance and his just willingness to throw shit out there. Kind of you know, shows you. 
kind of shows you why the Electoral College picked him over Hill Dog. Hill Dog could have never done her side of this. She wasn't cut out for it. No. She was. No. She's more like a dictator in a dress. She tells you what to do. And you go, fuck, if you don't shoot my family, I'll do it. <clears throat> Trump, he's a little bit more uh, personable, let's say. You know? He, yeah. He's and not he's, like he a... Is... Yeah, he's not like an obvious murdering fuck. He's like a secretive murdering fuck. Like, like he does it in the closet, you know, with a candle. Hillary did it in a room full of people and threatened them. If you talk, I'll, you'll be next. That's mm-hmm. the way I see this whole thing. But as far as the person, it doesn't matter because the banks are telling the person what to say. <laughs> They're doing it, too. And fuck what they say. Look at... Uh, wow, here we go. I'm still a true believer that the USD is a fucking mystery, gone, oh, finished. And they're just stalling with all these distractions, uh, financial problems and bullshit you, can't, you can see to distract you from the fact that they're resetting the economy. And if you want to participate in it, you're going to need a card. Yeah. Gonna and all this little chip. COVID and all this bullshit, these riots, all this stuff has been to do is to get the public to be desperate enough to take the bait that the government offers them at the last minute before they start eating each other. Eating each other, that's just gross. Starving humans, you will be amazed what a starving human will do to survive, dear. Yes. I understand this. Well, that's because you've never had to go through it, so it's easier to you know, be objective. But I don't know. I've been reading enough about it over my lifetime in other countries, Palestine, <clears throat> for example. And yeah, well, wow. look, there's an awful lot of countries in Africa hmm. that you have starving people all over the place. Well, have you noticed how the laws have been being written around the COVID lately so that when the future comes, you'll all be ready. You'll be prepared for what they're already planning to do. And you won't question it. The second wave of COVID is coming. Ooh. See, and now you got seasoned professionals all over the world. They know how to wear their masks. They know how to wash their hands. They're protected. What they don't know is they're not protected from anything that is, wasn't already there 10 years ago. They just got told it was. This is a big story. It's a hoax. No fucking Wuhan bullshit. It's all this nonsense. If the government truly let loose a virus, even by accident, there'd be a death toll. How do you let loose a deadly virus that doesn't kill people? Just ridiculous. How can a virus be so deadly that you have to go and get a test to find out if you've had it or not? Well, that too. I know you like that saying. Shoes, that pissed me off. But, I mean, that was one of the tells in the first place. Wait a minute. you get, I'm not sick, but you want me to come show you that I'm not sick so you can test me to see if I could be sick. What? No, 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 no. Because when I'm sick, I'm done. I can't. Psh, there you go. I'm seeking help, not waiting for somebody to knock on the door to see if I'm not feeling good. Do you have a fever? Let me feel your testicles. Do you, <laughs> What? And you know what? I've been I've seen a few things about those little temperature scanners across the forehead. Yeah. And I'm oh man. That those I I think I'll go with I'll do without that. I think I will cuz actually it's more uh accurate to do it on your wrist. But from from what some people are saying, hmm. it's and you know it's it's really not too far fetched when you think about some of the other shit that's out there. Um, when they scan your forehead, they're fucking with your pineal gland. <laughs> See, and all the, and I don't even trust the state any at all about nothing anyway. I don't trust them to tell me what time it is. Fuck them. So have fun. I want them to come up to me with a thermometer and and I'll hold it in my armpit for a few seconds, and then they can take an alcohol swab and wipe it off when they're done. Yeah, no, I don't see that happening here. 
anyway. Yeah. Uh, I don't see it happening here mm-hmm. either, but, you know, it's one of those things. Where it does like, happen, yeah. It's, well, it it seems to matter to the conditioning of the voter. The voter's mind is a very small place. They don't have a lot of room in there for growth. They're very narrow-minded people. That's why they've chosen before they hear the problem. So, where do you go with that? Uh, I don't know. No, I had a father like that. He he'd have yes or no already prepared. It didn't matter the question. Yeah. You caught him in the yes mood or you caught him in the no mood. And there were, way, were ways to to know when he was in the mood to say yes. So you had to kind of maneuver and plan. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, that's and like see, politics. It's like that is actually learning to read the vibes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I am so good with the predators in my life today. Because I was raised by the predator. He taught me the tricks. Ah. Well, yeah. People call it paranoid, and I just call it a heightened state of awareness, baby. That's why my butthole is intact and all my front teeth. <laughs> Well, and see, that's why I don't have to worry about anal leakage because I've done an awful lot of that butt clenching in my day. Wow. And so. (laughs) I must be weird because the terrifying times, I always roll with it. You know, the earthquakes, the hurricanes, the arguments, I just rolled with them, see where they're going to go. Resistance will get you hurt. Uh, Well, resistance is futile. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. It is. So you got to roll with your opposition at times. Either roll with it or just destroy it and don't ever deal with it. Hey, barman just gave me some Olestra chips. Mm. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> Olestra gives you anal leakage. <laughs> <laughs> gives it to you. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's like, here, Whoops. have some anal leakage. You know, actually, I think they used to even say that on the package. God. Wow. May cause anal leakage. Wow. And these, are, <laughs> these are things you buy on purpose? Okay. I don't, yeah, don't want to know. Don't want to know. I'm done. <laughs> That's <laughs> enough la, la, medicine la, la, for la, me. La. <laughs> I'm cured. <laughs> Miss Mary, you're frightening me beyond my, my capabilities here, Miss Mary. Help, help. Well, I think they were like... Low fat potato chips oh, or some such oh, nonsense, and they shit. did the Olestra. Yeah, synthetics are always nasty. Yeah. You know why? You know what the first syllable of synthetics is? It's a sin. Yeah, you know who has a really good way of explaining what that word means, truly means to him, anyway, the way he defines who's, it? Clint Richardson from UCY. Really? Yeah. He Sweet. Did. He's done radio for a long time. He's really good. Mm-hmm. And he's done quite a bit of uh, radio on topics that nobody touches. So you don't hear a lot of opposition to what he says, uh, except if it's the original, you know, the official story or vertige version of it. Uh-huh. Like, I'm sure Rockefeller has a different version of inoculations and in the history of it than Richardson does. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, these money-making pricks in history have turned the most disgusting shit in the on the planet into profit that over long, long periods of time will kill us. Or at least if you take the, and from the beginning, it'll make you feel ill for a while, you know. And you don't don't recover from it. You just keep using it. Thirty years later, some part of you stops working properly. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, they call it cancer. Oh, some doctor will diagnose you with cancer and convince you that you have to have half of your stomach removed so you can survive. And all the time, all you needed to do is eat right. <laughs> it's priceless. Hmm. Well, you know, it's against the freaking law to subscribe remedy or natural herbs or <laughs> oils. You can't get yeah. these things from it. You know what? Grim put up a link about the doctors that came forward, risked their reputations to come forward and make a video and tell people their side of all this drama. 
boom, boom, mm-hmm. boom, Twitter, yeah, what's it, uh, fucking uh, YouTube, it pulls it down right you, away. Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Facebook, all kinds yeah. of places. All the big stuff, yeah, yeah. But, and I just saw an interview with one of those doctors, uh, with Tucker Carlson, hmm. and she said that she has hired a lawyer. Wow. And so, <laughs> you know, because they're also trying to ruin their practices, their personal practices, right. going yeah. after them. And yeah. so she's hired a lawyer. And it's like, and Tucker Carlson did an evil little he. <laughs> and I thought, yeah, that pretty much. He said, actually, how'd he put that? I rarely root for lawyers. But in this case, <laughs> and uh, I thought, yeah, yeah. Well, they're talking out of both sides of their neck again, the government. They tell you 15 years ago, they tell you this thing works for this problem. 15 years passed, problem comes, and they go, well, this doesn't work for it. What? Make up your mind. Oh, well, I'm following the money, sir. <laughs> I'm going with the profits. Going with well, the see, and, and the thing that I find interesting is the two gentlemen that uh, own the company that made hydroxychloroquine, Mm. the original Mm. company, those two gentlemen, uh, beginning of this year, both of them wound up getting murdered, you know, within a very short time frame of each other. Mm. That's that's kind of hinky dinky in and of itself. But when you stop and realize it's been around for, what, 55, 60 years now, something like that? And so, you know, they're able to make um, the um, generic version of this, which Mm. makes it cheaper. And it has been used globally. Yes, it does have effects that are adverse. But, you know, essential oils people can have adverse reactions to them too anything natural if you have an allergic reaction to it that's called an adverse reaction so you know different people different uh, biology different immune system whatever will have different results grimmy can't do onions Mm. you know it's just everybody will have a sensitivity to something yeah, that yeah. will cause them to have an adverse reaction to something. So, yeah. yeah, to something. But you know, the big thing with this is mm. they can't milk it and make all kinds of money off of it like they can <sighs> all of this else. other shit, yeah. especially yeah. the vaccine that they're rushing through. <laughs> <laughs> vaccine for a cold. What is wrong with yeah. people? I am beside myself on the, the just the total stupidity. Of a, a 20th, 20th century mind in the 21st century that is so sold on this magic for nothing. It's a it's a it's a ghost. Unless you're 80 or oh well, they said the people that don't survive are basically in their 80s, 70 plus. Okay, well, yeah. Unless unless they have a comorbidity, which is you know. It, I was Compromised close. immune system or something yeah. else, but yeah. yeah. I was pretty close. But when you think about living past 70 is like, fuck, that's a long time. God damn. So here we are. We're, we're, we're pissing and moaning and shutting down uh, economies and stopping people from living because the, the old people are dying. And they're, and they're using the guise of we're concerned for your life, but everything they do is bad for us as living beings. So where do these where do these people that support the the idea that the government's here to help them what what are they basing it on? I'm completely lost. Well, see that's that's where the English language can be so fun mm. and so easy to manipulate others with yeah. because there is so much that can be said and you can take it multiple ways depending on the context it's used in depending on who's saying it, depending who on who's hearing it. Um, but, you know, like when they, let's say, for the children. What do they mean by for the children? <laughs> Fuck, if I know, but it's not good. I used to be a children. Don't trust adults, children. They're dangerous. I didn't. Well, what? you know, you see this stuff. Well, we're doing this for the children. Are you doing this? For you to be able to more easily harvest children? Are you doing this so that you can 
dumb down the children with all of these vaccines so that they won't they will grow up to be good little droney adults. Uh, what are you doing for the children? Maybe they you know, already so you... did it. It's already been oh. done. And just like everything else, we're 20 years after the fact, they bring up the problem that they, they've they already uh, worn it out. Yeah. They've, they've run its course, and now they're going to cure it because there's nothing left to steal. See? Yeah, problem, too many people, solution. Yeah, too many people were Let's, made aware of the problem through the Internet for it to continue at the level it was going. So they had to... And, uh, yet, and yet we still have a segment of society, if you will, that has been yeah. damaged plus, in one way or another. Plus a van with people dressed in some kind of, you know, official-looking clothing can just pull over on the street, grab somebody, take them away. And what the worst is going to happen, somebody will videotape your plates when you leave. Yeah, I've, I saw that. I've been seeing some of no. those videos. And, and I thought, are they... Are they plays? Are these people just actors, or is this really happening? And if it is, how do you know it's the Fed? <laughs> See, and what? That's, that's my thinking is, my God, I have seen so much shit that isn't so. Uh, yep. You know, it's projected. It's just like this Floyd stuff. You know, you see him, and he's handcuffed up against a building. This is from a security camera footage, and he's hand up, handcuffed up against a building, and he has a full head of hair. Granted, it's cut short, but he has a full head of hair. Yeah. But when he's being choked out with the guy with his bald as knee a baby's on his ass. neck. He, yeah, he's bald as a baby's ass. It's like, did they shave his head before they did that? Why is there no security camera footage of the head shaving going on? You I know, so I just weird. I don't really trust any of it anymore. No. I will I'll observe it, I'll let it come in and just kind of go, hmm, hmm. I have to ponder on that one for a while. But and Grimmy Grimmy's got it really good in the chat to serve man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to serve man. Because <laughs> we're going to be a snack yeah. on a fucking platter. Yeah, we're going to put an apple in your mouth and turn right. you on a spit. Oh, don't say spit because everybody's afraid of spit. Oh, Christ. Here we go with that again. Ugh. <laughs> now we got to get all dirty talking because you know where I go when you say spit. Anyway. It's spittle. <laughs> no, it's, spittle, spittle, it's spittle, just spittle. grown-ups acting like fucking idiots to me. I, I'm embarrassed for the I'm embarrassed for the people that fall. Fall so easily for the lies and the deception. That's where I stand. I'm embarrassed for them. See, and that's what I mean them. by a segment of society that's already been just totally messed with. Because mm. these people are in grown-up bodies. They're in adult bodies. Mm. But mentally, they are not. Like mentally, the woman that they was... they have been stunted. Here, here, like that video I was talking about with you earlier. That woman had to be late 40s, maybe early 50s. She was in... Terrible physical condition. Yes. She didn't look like she could miss a fucking meal. It would kill her. And she's bitching and yelling on the way to go get more food. It was like, wow. I don't know. Yeah. I move out of people's way so it's easier for them to get to the food rather than get squashed under their immense carcass. Yeah, well, you know, and and it used to be that that was what was done, you know? If you saw, you you just kind of, you tried to avoid... Idiots. Well, idiots too. But, you know, growing up, I don't remember there being that many idiots around. There were there were plenty of assholes. Mm. But, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I know exactly what you mean, but people had common decency, common sense. Yeah. A you know, sense, you'd step to the side yeah. or something like that. You wouldn't just intentionally yeah. stand in front of someone so they'd bump into you and then go, well, aren't you going to say excuse me? Listen, fucker. Yeah, Tra <laughs> Training women to be insulted if you open their door, was a that was the greatest move of all time. Because that freed me of ever having to be nice to females ever again. It's not expected, and if you try it, you want some pussy, so leave me alone. So, wow, hey, I'm free. More beer for me. <laughs> 
See, and, yeah. and I've just always been one of those people that, shit, I don't care. I'll hold the door open for someone. Right. And I when I that. do and they look at you weird, I say, just call me Carlton the doorman. And ah. then they really look at you weird, which is like, I'm making a joke here. Yeah, but you know, uh, I, I, don't, I don't really have courtesy issues in town. The, the people here are raised uh, with those kind of traditions. So it's common. It's not... It's not rude to to move out of a woman's way or open a door, light a cigarette, any of that. Nobody calls the police and has you arrested for being a, what do you call it, insensitive to her feelings or whatever fucking crap they're doing in L.A. now. <laughs> like they don't get enough trouble. Hey, you know what I saw in L.A. this morning? They, no, uh, no. I've seen two different videos. One one uh it just it was just a news thing and it was um uh, in it just said in LA outside the CNN headquarters and it was uh child life matters protest mm -hmm. against human trafficking and all that fun stuff and then there was another one in Hollywood where they were um protesting child pornography and and all that other fun stuff and I thought Look at all these people, because they were, I mean, someone was either on a bike or just walking along, I don't know, but they went, like, blocks, mm -hmm. and all you saw was people standing there with signs, they weren't blocking traffic, they weren't fucking with people, they were just holding signs and saying, child, life, child lives matter, and I thought, that's what I thought a peaceful protest was, but yet, you know, I haven't seen any real news media cover that, it's just personal people. Mm -hmm doing that where's the news media oh they're not going to put that out there because then it'll put the lie to their peaceful <laughs> protests i saw i saw a good one of those uh black lives matter links today like a minute mm -hmm. long it was really fast right and mm -hmm. i can explain this one it was really great so black kid maybe in his 20s going nuts mm -hmm. at black lives matter fucking their barrier up and throwing shit around and screaming all lives matter oh. And uh -huh. at the very end, he says, fuck Black Lives Matter. And he's black. Uh -huh. Because this has got nothing to do with black people at all. Only the dumbasses are falling for that. Sadly. Because it's mostly white people looking for 15 minutes of fame. Trying to be cool. inclusive or get, you know, step... Well... I saw an arrest thing, and it was like 7 out of 20 of the people they showed on this thing were supposedly American teachers in public schools. <laughs> yeah. They don't post their names with them, I don't think, but I did, knew, but I did see their faces, and it, that they were teachers, but there's no way to prove it. But it was really like something to think about, you know, wow, what inspires a person to do something so ignorant? In 2020, they're idiots. That's the answer to this whole fucking nightmare is the people following along and the people participating are basically stupid mm -hmm. and they don't know what they're fucking doing. If they did, they wouldn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, think about it. None of us on the reallibertymedia.com go out on the days when we're not doing radio, go out and hit a good protest. I mean, that's stupid. Why put yourself out there in the fucking middle of a war zone? What What's the benefit of it? I don't know. God, and I saw something um, earlier today. Someone had their little, like, two-year-old out there at a protest. It's like, what the hell are you bringing a two-year-old to a freaking protest for? What did I start out by saying? These people are seemingly intelligent. They can run a lifestyle. They can own a car. They can get a license. They can read a fucking book. But they don't have any common sense because it was never taught to them in a way that could be absorbed. It was avoided. Follow the directions. And then whenever you, they strayed off to do something, they brought them right back to the herd. I was in that. When they couldn't bring me back to the herd, after a while they got tired of trying. But everybody else complied, so they went, ah, fuck him, let him go. Yeah. Mm. I came from a special, unique time. The period in life, in the place I'm from, it gave me a lifestyle that was just one of a kind. Other places wouldn't happen. And it would have never happened that way. Hitchhiking and doing all the crazy stuff I did. 
only in America. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Hmm. And a lot of that's just because most places are a lot smaller. Yeah. There well, were yeah. Fifty states to play in, and in my day, there wasn't all this instant everything. Jeez. Oh, cripes! Yeah, what was it? I saw the other day. Um, believe it or not, kids, there used to be a phone number that you could call that would tell you the time and date. Which, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I remember yeah. doing that. Yeah. You know when you know when the electricity went out or whatever, and all the clocks went dead. We would call that number so that we could get the correct date See or the correct are. time to reset the clocks. Okay. Now. The American um, media and such, TV and these, yeah. Netflix. Yeah, Kate says time and temperature, too. And all this I, crap. Well, they've been erasing our history mm-hmm. so that people today don't know what we did in the 60s. They would think it was a movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, how else do you get people to comply with these idiotic lockdowns and mask wearing and shit like that? I'd go, I'd go off. No way. No resistance to it. Just everybody just complied and went along or so they were told. I don't know. Then you had those riot things, but I think that was all part of a government plan. Yeah. And well, it came after they locked all... them down. So they cooked them first. Oh, yeah. You know, those, that water's been heating up under them froggies for a long time. Yeah, years and years and years. But they, the government yeah. has done – it's a big world. And people think, oh, I know this about this place and this about that place. But if you're so concerned about all these other places, it takes your time off paying attention to where you're at. <laughs> yes. So, so I spend a lot of time on the radio talking about places I'm not. But when I'm physically doing things alone, they're concerned with where I am. Not where I'm going or where I'm going to be, but what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Simple things. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Maintenance to the, the property or uh, plants, taking care of the plants, whatnot. Going to get, make sure we got enough milk for coffee, shit like that. The incidentals that make us smile. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Well, if, if I could spend that time just... Learning all this crap on the internet instead, never get nothing done, and be all angry all the time. Wow, that wouldn't be any fun. No, that's why I don't know much about what's going on. Besides that, uh, YouTube's trying to do suicide. It's trying to go out. You know, as far as a free service for information and making it so mm-hmm. you can learn things that can help you, they're just making it so that everything on there is something that they can make a profit off of. Oh, yeah. So when a company goes that way, nah, they're finished. They're finished for the small guy. They're going to just be like a, you know upper crust service for the wealthy. Because the wealthy are trying to crush us right now as a collective. They want us to See, die, motherfucker, die. See what? See what, baby? That's that's like um, when like Apple TV, which I got an Apple TV um teen zillion years ago, just a little thing like Roku, hmm. and you could get different channels on it. And it used to be that you could get YouTube on it and get all kinds of other cool channels on it. And then all those channels decided, wait a minute, wait a minute, people are accessing us. And they're not paying for it. What the hell? Mm -hmm. So then channels started dropping off, unless you wanted to subscribe to them Mm -hmm. and pay a nominal monthly fee in order to enjoy what you had been enjoying on the interwebs without having to pay that nominal monthly fee. Mm -hmm. You know, or when you still had cable TV or satellite TV or whatever, and you just paid that lump fee, which, okay... If you figure in the nominal monthly fee of each one of these channels Hmm. and say, well, when I still lived in town and um, had satellite TV and I had like 200 and some odd freaking channels through Dish Network and I paid $49.95 a month. Hmm. Okay. 
if they were able to sell their service to Dish Network and I only had to pay forty nine ninety five a month. Now, granted, you extrapolate it out to all of the different people that are using Dish Network, yada, yada, blah, blah. But that's actually immaterial because I'm paying Dish Network forty nine ninety five a month. But when I get away from Dish Network and I get a Roku or an Apple TV and I still have access to these things, yeah. and I'm not paying that forty nine ninety five a month, now all of a sudden it's nine ninety five a month. What the hell? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow. It was forty nine ninety five to get two hundred freaking channels through Dish Network, and mm. now I have to pay each one of you some bitches. Nine ninety five. Oh, I know some of them are only four dollars and ninety nine cents, or what have you. Yeah. But it's still, it's like all of a sudden, you know, once the once cable started going to the wayside, and and satellite TV started going to the wayside, and people started getting the Roku and all of this other fun stuff. Now everybody's, and so I and it just clicked into my head. Yeah, how far ahead are you now? Because <laughs> I had like, and that's why I canceled Dish Network. I told them, you know what? I get 250 channels, and in a good week, I will watch one channel one day. Mm. You TV so, watcher, you. Yeah, I am. And usually it was like Sci Fi Channel or mm. History Channel or, yeah. you know, Discovery, something like. Once in a while, I'd watch, um, not Comedy Central, what, USA Today or whatever, or the USA Channel. Where they had uh, Psych and some of those other quirky kind of shows. Yeah. But even then, it was only, you know, you watch it for an hour and then you get up and you go do something. It was just a little break time. But now it's like, okay, so I want to watch this. Well, that's four ninety five. <laughs> but I want to watch that. Well, that's another four ninety five. Mm-hmm. Some bitch, I should have stayed with the forty nine ninety five <laughs> Shit. And ignored 247 channels. You want to hear the bad but, news? What's that? I, I want to thank the COVID for, for one good thing it did for me and Cirque. What's that? Well, the negotiations went through, and they came up with a three-day-in-the-office deal. Sweet. And and two, if it's truly not necessary for you to be in the building and you can do the work from the house, then the third day, yeah, stay home. So, so far, it's like a mandatory two days in the office. And I went, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Dang. Well, the it's got its good side for the people that don't need help, but people that need help ain't going to get help. That's, I guess, I'm trying not to say that. You know, traveling to work, what she was willing to do that. It wasn't like a thing she was being forced to do she was prepared for that so to have it reduced was like wow (laughs) who saw this coming now i can stay home more it wasn't a punishment for her to be home yeah where some people took it like oh fuck now i gotta be home with my kids and how the how the hell do i work when the kids are home and not in school they were juggling me and cirque just got me and cirque and the pets so we Mm -hmm. benefited plenty from this covid thing where other people didn't and that's what i mean it's hard to complain when things go your way but it's kind of cool to jump on the the dog pile and bitch covid covid (laughs) see how you are i i you know i'm to the point where i really don't want to give it any more attention I know and it's already but getting there it is. it's like the more you focus on it, the more you're going to see it. So I just, I the Rona is yeah. just a Rona. It's yeah, like roids. You I, try not to get it. I only read about it. I don't, I don't see it in my life. It's just too much. It's like a, like a movie. It's why I'm saying so strongly that I believe this is more about a financial collapse than any illness or anything else or any plan to sell a trillion, uh, inoculations all over the globe or whatever the fuck stories these idiots are telling people countries are independent of each other states mm-hmm. are independent of each other no matter how you look at it you're going to you're never going to get everybody to agree to one thing it's not designed to happen it's not going to happen the fighting is what they're trying to get us to do so what you just yeah. said is if the further away you are from it but then it doesn't 
we have to talk about these things because they're fucking happening. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Just Sadly. as I'm out here in the boonies and I don't have to deal with it on a daily basis unless I look on my computer. You know, and even then it's like, oh, shit, they're still doing that. So I get up and I go back outside. <laughs> yeah. See, I've got a yard with all kinds of plants and I can go out there and find something to do if I really want to. So there you go. And then other times I'm just lazy. I'll watch movies. Yeah. But I think I've gotten to the point as far as knowledge goes. Uh, Outside of very specific things like what Larry Woods and Rob Works are talking with me about on uh, Thursday as a norm, I'm not too interested in learning much more. I think I'm about finished. You know? where I need to chase answers to know what the fuck does this mean and how did we get here and I, I, I've come to the decision that it don't fucking matter anymore. I don't care. And I'm still alive. I haven't been struck dead by God or whatever the hell the religious wackadoodles believe is going to happen if you are if you don't go with the flow. But I'm not going with the flow. I'm going to stop. Let's see what happens. You know, I don't want to go with Flo, because Flo <laughs> is on those damn progressive commercials, and she, she just freaking, she needs to just go she's away. She's a spitter. <laughs> she spits all over people. She's disgusting. She, uh, you know, it was funny when it started, but it's done now, okay? No, Get it's Get another. It, it's too bad. I <sighs> wish it was. People are getting more creative with their gloves and their uh, mask wearing. There's... There's accessory stores to suit the fucking COVID believers now. The public. Oh, I know. The I public. Know. Okay, the public that has money, they can't spend the fucking amount of money that they got. So here's what the beauty of this whole fucking game. So they shut down everything, so nobody can even spend any fucking money. <laughs> Well, you ain't got any to start with, so no <laughs> No, no, there's it. people that have plenty, plenty of money. They will never go hungry. They have plenty. But even those people were, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> they yeah. were inconvenienced. So. You know how I knew this was all bullshit? How? I mean, just just the my inner self went, oh, I'm calling bullshit on this, is within a week's time, yeah. people were selling yeah. homemade masks. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's how I knew. Oh, it's I'll... like, oh, dear God. And my sister-in-law was one of them. My mom and I got together and we made these masks. Anybody want to buy one for four ninety five? And I'm thinking, no, no, mm. not well, interested. I listen to our old... I got a old... t-shirt sleeve I can put over my face if I need to. <laughs> yeah, but our old shows, I listened back in February, me and you, we were already doubting Thomas's about the reality. And we yeah. were on the outside at that time because it looked pretty fucking real. What you're reading, what you're seeing, and they when they went way over the top with all these deaths that weren't ha- that were happening. The deaths were happening, but not from this cold, not from the flu. They were just adding yeah. it on. You died with it, technically with some legal swish of the pen. And these pricks make fifty grand a shot if they do it like this. You die to that. So back to commerce, back to the illegal fucking money. It's these people are controlling well, us. It's got nothing yeah, to do with money. Yeah, that's why it's a medical industry. It is an industry. I bet you and Rothschild. People don't realize that. I bet you Rothschild's gold card never fucking gets denied. Probably not. Yeah, and no matter what time of day it is, the power doesn't go out. His card is never his. The whole building will come on just to service his fucking card. And the rest of us get treated like, see, we, we're victims of the currency. And when you've tried, I've tried to explain it, tried to explain it. Now people are coming out with videos about problems they're having replacing their freaking uh, banking cards with a bank. And the bank uses the snail mail to send it to you. <laughs> Everything they yeah. do is all electric and instant. And, but when you need them for something, they send it to, through the slow mail. Oh, yeah. And people still tolerate this shit as a collective. No resistance. You get more resistance to uh, black lives fucking matter, but get a bunch of dumbasses out there with signs and 
some Molotov cocktails, <laughs> a few baseball bats. Well, that's one thing, but a, a real protest would be not spending any fucking money for like 24 hours. Nobody. A global economy strike. But you can't organize something like that because people will not support it. They don't understand the power they have collectively. So we fight about well, who owns the and color And I know orange. some people that just plain have to go to the grocery store every day. I know people like that because they just plain don't have anything in there. And it's not that they can't afford to go to the store and just stock up on shit. It's just that. Well, I don't know what I want to fix for supper tomorrow, so I'll just wait till tomorrow and go to the store and pick it up. Yeah. That's going to end really? soon. Really? Yeah. That's going to come to a screeching halt overnight. Yeah. Well, on some food products. Oh, fuck yeah. Sure. They're, they can't crush everybody all at one time. they got to do it in small steps over long periods, or you'd notice. Come on over, Moosey. You know? She's wanting to come visit. Cool. I'll I'll take her up. We'll grab Lisa B and we'll go be crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, Moose is in one of the more restricted states. Wisconsin's not looking very uh, pleasing. I think our mental. Our, where, what state are you in, mental? He'll I, if he heard me, he'll type it on the chat. I'm sure. Uh, I don't know but I think he's I think he's out in that that area. I forget. Oh Christ! All the details. There's so many people. So much to know. So I always ruin my uh, my knowledge. Michigan, Michigan, that's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Well, they're right close together. And Moosey's in Wisconsin. Yeah, but that kind of uh, cold, I don't know. I think it just after a few years, you get tired of it. It's never... It's freaking cold there, too. Yeah. My daughter yeah. was in Wisconsin for a while there. It's yeah. freaking cold. We get down to the freezing point in the coldest part of winter here. Maybe, you know, a few degrees below zero. And then that's it. And it's still mellow. It's not It's not a, a real uh, treacherous kind of weather. It's very good. Like today, it was 75 degrees with a light breeze. Dang. Yeah. yeah. Uh, walked the dog to the cigarette store on the leash. And it was just beautiful well, out. Yeah. Oh, it's temperature wise, it's really not bad here. It's mm. muggy, mm. but it's not bad. So far be it from me to be a big old whiny poo poo head about it, but oh, you know, wait, I still you know, will. I, but. <laughs> I, when it's cold, sometimes it's too cold for my liking, but it's not extreme. It's not like yeah. some of the stuff I read on the internet about where, like, between Grimm and, and Moose, the two of them both live in extreme areas to me. Because Grimm's gotten down there in the pretty cold. Yeah. But I hear your phone. But Moose's cold lasted a lot. Like the last year seemed worse than the year before. She kept saying it wasn't. But when I compared the numbers in my memory, and I would go, wow, it sure seems like it was worse this year than it was before this. Yeah. Because, you know, we're just looking on on the Internet screen reading shit. So it's not the same as feeling it. But I've been yeah. in, I've been in Colorado and... By God, that is some cold shit. Fuck it. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, Colorado gets cold, but I tell you what, you want to you want to get some cold, you come on out to to Northwest Kansas as well, because holy shit, when the wind decides to start blowing, there ain't nothing to stop it. Yeah, it so. was a I forget what year it was, but it was a trip through Colorado because I didn't want to take a I didn't want to hitchhike, I wanted to take the bus, right? So I take this Greyhound, and they stop for a smoke break. And I'm a chronic smoker. I've been smoking forever. I get off this bus to go outside. I took one hit off that thing and went, fuck this. I'm going back on the bus. <laughs> it's too yeah. cold. Now, so when it's too cold to be outside, that's not a good thing for me. <laughs> I can't live in a situation like that, so I've never tried it. But... I have been to those places visiting or passing through so I could experience what it was that I would later in my life claim I ain't going to do that. <laughs> so I'm not just talking out my butt. You know, I, I know from trying to be outside in that weather was like brutal. Oof. 
No, 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 no. Yeah. The desert, yeah. the desert dweller in me would melted like a. <laughs> it was embarrassing. See, and you would have gotten along. Well, maybe not, because I we went to visit mom when she's still in Phoenix, and yeah. oh dear God, when you have to use freaking potholders to open your car door, and that's when your car <laughs> is. In a carport, it's covered, so it's not getting direct sunlight. But you got to use potholders to open the car door. No, this is right next door to hell. It's a desert, and I think yeah. I'll go back to Can's ass. Yeah, no, my brother. But lived mother out there. loved it. She likes yeah. the t- she likes the heat. I I don't well, okay. really like it. I can live in it. Yeah, I can tolerate it. It's not like I like it. I like it here better. This moderate thing is way better than it. the extremes. I'm just Jewish, so I like to complain. Oh, it's too muggy. Oh, it's too cold. That's my porridge. Your little Jewy bone was hurting, wasn't it? Yeah, every now and again I get a little wacky. And you live in, uh, wait, Moose said, and I forgot already, Wisconsin, Michigan. Oh, yeah, Men- Mental, you're in Michigan, right? Is it? Mm-hmm. Ex- and it's in the same, that's what I meant. It's in the same vicinity of Moose. It's that same extreme kind of cold weather. It's like, I couldn't do it. No, 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 no. Because I've tried. I went to Montreal in October once for a month, and I was like fucking miserable. I couldn't stand it. It was so fuck. And it wasn't inside. It was cold. It was going outside to do anything. So I got I got that lockdown fucking thing in a week. I was like a caged animal. <laughs> you know? Ah, you went stir crazy. Huh? I spent a whole summer in Miami in a pair of cut off shorts carrying a t shirt. So, yeah, I was like, wait a minute. This is fucked up. I had to go back home. <laughs> ah, you wussy. Well, yeah, but see, every step, like we've talked about in the past, if I had not made that left in Montreal and turned around and went south and decided to go back to Miami, I would maybe not have ended up where I'm at now the way, you know, I would, something would have shifted. Some other yeah, whole it's a life. Good thing you didn't take a left turn at Albuquerque. Right, or I could have stayed in Montreal and some other life would have followed it instead of the one I got. Because mm-hmm. the one I got is a product of all the crazy decisions I made to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to mm-hmm. try that, see what happens. <laughs> sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. That's all it is. Yeah. Like the stock yep. market, only with life. Oh, I don't. The only stock market I ever messed with was the game stock market. They're selling you on the stock market like they own you, baby. Wake up and smell uh, the coffee. I know they are. You know, I would, I've read that there's ways to interrupt, maybe even recover that funding, but I don't think there's any money left to pay it. But, see, that's the whole thing. That thing's on credit, right? So mm-hmm. we're, the reality of this to me means that we're just living in promised land and nothing is real. There's my end result of Fiat currency. Well, okay. Nice knowing you. Because, you know, people don't really understand what it means. They claim to, but if they really, really did, they wouldn't play. Or if they weren't willing to, like Cirque, she's willing to. She knows both sides of this game. And she's willing to play in the finance game. So, whoa, my hat's off to her. But she understands the reality of what money truly is. So it's easier to get along with her than most people. Yeah. Well, if you if you understand the rules of engagement, yeah. it's a lot easier. Oh, that's a good, the rules of engagement. Commerce has a lot, but it's, it's commerce and it has a lot of loopholes and games and mazes and traps and all kinds mm-hmm. of fun things you can... Please. It's not supposed to be like that. That's a TV show. Commerce was supposed to be, I got a product, I w- uh, and I want to sell it. This guy's got something. He wants to buy it. Okay, so we do a transaction. How did things get so out of hand and so big that you can't trust the next guy that you're doing business with? Huh? Uh, good question. I mean, that's the premise of all these wars and shit like that, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Couldn't be that yeah. the United States government just wants oil and they don't give a fuck how they get it. They just go in and steal it from you. And if you try to stop them, they'll bring their goons to protect them while they steal it. Yeah. It's like they're doing in Afghanistan with heroin. 
and they'll you know they'll accuse you of being a terrorist because you're you know actually trying to defend your home. They call that you protect, terrorist you. They call that protecting the poppy fields. They're stealing the fucking poppy fields. Crazy. Oh yeah. Protecting anything. They should be doing is burning that fucking shit to the ground. Mm-hmm. If there's any plant that wouldn't I wouldn't see as being uh, a big problem to lose uh, to uh, extinction, it would be the opiate. That plant has done so much harm. <sighs> Under the guise of help, because people are believers. They believe the good stories you tell them without looking them up. Because when you look it up, what do you find? You find the lies the people that told right there for you to see, so you believe it. But that's not really and, what happened. <laughs> you know, I heard something the other day that really made me kind of stop and think mm -hmm. um, and realize. They were talking about people with addictions and all that other fun stuff. And they were saying, you know, it's really not so much that people have addictions. Mm -hmm. It's just that this is how they deal with the reality that we're all saddled with. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily that they're, you know, addicted so much as Defending. this is how they yeah. are. It's a coping mechanism Defensive. with the reality they've, they've been dumped into. Wow. Do you feel dumped into this reality at all? I, I don't. I feel I don't like I'm feel watching a movie. I, well, I actually feel like and more and more I'm feeling like it. Like I volunteered for this shit. Yeah, yeah. And there's times when I kick myself in the ass and go, seriously, you volunteered for this. You really did. Okay, I better quit bitching. But, you know, so, I, uh, it's a difference between life is happening for you or life is happening to you. Oh, uh, yeah, positive and negative, yeah. And see, Balance. I used to, I used to be in the mindset of all this shit was happening to me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then I yeah. started realizing the lessons yeah. that I was getting from the things that were not so pleasant occurring in my life. And I realized it's actually happening for me because, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I had to go through some of this shit, I wouldn't be the tough old shit that I am now. Hmm. So wow. it happened for me. Yeah. Well, just like maybe talking to you about the stuff that's not happening here makes me feel more uh, appreciative to be able to take a walk with the dog at any time I feel like it, to go down to the store to get some smokes, which are bad for me. But on the way, I, I pass neighbors I know, and, and at the grocery, the town council might be out drinking, say hey to them. The okay. store clerks, both the, both the guys are real familiar. Hey, how you doing? They know exactly what I want. So, uh, wow, I'm, I'm, on, I'm in a comfort zone. Yes. Right. But to make me more appreciate what I have, I stay in constant contact with America by radio. You know. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever forget where I came from and get you know, compliant what do you call it? Uh, complacent where you, you just yes. you just expect, oh you know, instead of the it's like an oh wow, I get to do this which is where I how I feel when I'm doing it. It's like I can't sometimes believe I'm where I'm at because the rest of the planet's complaining. So yeah, yeah, and I just go, wow, flow, go with the flow, and see where it takes you. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, and where it took me was I got to do a dork table in Freddie Town, and Cert got to go to her aunt's party, and her aunt wouldn't notice me not being there physically. It's not I'm not that close to her. You know, it's not like an insult yeah. to not show up. She knows that the dog needs attention. She knows I like got my hobbies. And I don't like to leave mm -hmm. and go to the city anymore. So they, they come here to visit. <laughs> See, and isn't that wonderful when you realize that you've made such a drastic change in your life that you don't like doing what you grew up doing? I know. It's a completely opposite life. You know what I gave this woman for Christmas last year? You're going to crack up. You ready for this? Sure. An aloe vera plant that I grew. Awesome. And it was real healthy. They grow real good in the winter time here in the window sills. They're dying out in the humidity mm -hmm. at them. but they they uh they recover quick. So if you can keep part of it alive through the humidity of summer bringing it in the house in the when the 
chills coming. Mm-hmm. By by December, you have a nice, big, healthy plant. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, they're not good with direct sunlight and lots of water. They like dry and kind of sunlight. It's a weird plant. I mean, how it yes, grows it here, too. It's But because I did that, you know, I get invited to her birthday party, too, you know, because I'm, I'm remembered just that if I don't show, it's not like a big deal. We're grown-ups yeah. about all this. Yeah, well, that's a great family to be married into. Well, there you go. Yeah, well, I don't know if it's uh, the Danish way. I don't think so. I think it's just this This is just a family that fits me. <laughs> and that's a good thing. They raise circle. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, must have done something right. Absolutely. Done something right. Uh, her... <laughs> I have not met anybody in her family personally yet that I have not got along with. Even the people that married into the family from other families. They get along. <laughs> I get along with everybody. It's like, where's the problems at? I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop for years. And I gave up on it. But the first couple of years, I was nervous. Nobody yells at me. Nobody complains about nothing I do. What the fuck? Doesn't anybody know I'm here? <laughs> I know when you're when you get a reaction that is so alien yeah. to what you were used to, yeah. it does take a little bit of getting used to. Well, the the last party that I went to, the first one I, and last party I went to, I met I met her cousin Mickle, who's uh, about twenty years old at the time, or maybe younger. I might have been a teenager. And, and her nephew, Ollie. And the three of us are doing magic tricks with coins and shit like that. So, and we're, there, it's a huge party. There must have been 150 people, you know, in, all in total, um, in and out. Wow. Yeah, it was, but it was so much fun to to be treated nicely by strangers is what I'm getting at. Cause that's, yeah. America has been very mean the last 30 years. Before I left, it started in the 80s. When I hit about 20, people started to lose their patience from the 70s. <laughs> and well, then we yeah. got Reagan. Yeah, well, we had Jimmy Carter. We were all bopping around, all happy, getting stoned, you know, drinking the little, what was that, Annie Green Spring, Springs wine and shit. <laughs> we were all right. And then Reagan comes along and destroys the economy in like 12 minutes. We're all broke and fucked up. <laughs> See, and I don't know that I could give Ronnie Reagan full credit for that shit. I'm identifying a time period and a piece of shit I in a suit, you are. baby. So you don't have to recognize shit. I'm just talking about history, you old old broad. <laughs> <laughs> Take out your aggro on me, woman. <laughs> right? Know what I mean? Shit. Sure do, Vern. I'm telling yes, you. Do. Told you 300 times already. Anyway. I know. <laughs> if I told you once, I told you 357 times. You know, every time my mother said something like that, I would look at her and go, Mom, is this some kind of new map? Because, oh, you know, it was always some exaggeration. Oh, and, and you had a mom report before the show. You want to continue with that one? Because that was sounding pretty good. What you had to say. Yeah, Mom's doing a whole bunch is better. Oh, well, I meant for your listeners. So, yeah, I yeah. know. Okay. Um, and actually, while we've been on the radio, Rochelle, my niece that is helping mom, sent a bunch of pictures of, of some of the organizing and yard cleanup and that kind of stuff that she and mom have been doing. And a couple of my siblings have also been helping out with it. And it's like, holy smokes, Batman. But my mother is just, you know, her cognition is getting better. Um you know, she's just, she's a happier camper. It's just, it's pretty freaking awesome. And, I mean, I know we we probably are looking at not too far down the road some unpleasant things may happen. But in the interim, we're going to enjoy the pleasant things that are happening. So, there you go. It's all good. Bam. Well, I just thought you'd like to mention that. Yep. Cause yep. Mom's doing awesome. What are the odds? You know, because the rest of the world, Mary, according to the rest of the world, always telling us, if you read the chat, if you read the links, 
everybody's fucking having a bad time. Yeah. So when and, so, when and you know everybody's sick and everybody's wearing masks and you know in in all of these pictures that she sent me there's not a single person wearing a mask. <laughs> not even my mom who just got out of the hospital not too long ago and also just turned 89 not too long ago and she's not wearing a mask either. So yeah, yeah. the the crowd here, the older crowd, they're walking mm-hmm. arm in arm down Main Street. The people that drink sit next to each other at the table. And then I turn on, uh, I've been watching a couple of the English guys that got some videos still going through YouTube. And, mm-hmm. and wow, it's horrible how, what they're reporting back. It's all about controlling the population and making them do, the, do this and do that. And you can't even argue that it's, there's no debate to this. This is, this, oh, no. this is just, they're being stuffed down your fucking throat. This is the way it is. Wait a minute. That's no way for anybody ever to live. Nobody. Nobody should live like that. Okay, but I do have to I have to add this little caveat here mm-hmm. because I seen something mm-hmm. um the other day and it just made me snicker. Mm-hmm. It was it was a compilation of different news broadcasters and they were talking about the mask debate. And the more they said it, and especially if they were, you know, trying to read what was on their teleprompter quickly, <laughs> the more it came across as mass debaters. Yeah. Uh-huh. And it was so freaking hilarious because <laughs> there was actually one guy that was being introduced and the person reading the little teleprompter thingy had said, so what is your what is your thoughts on the masturbator? And you could see him trying to not bust again <laughs> while trying to maintain some semblance of sanity in responding to her asinine question. But, oh, dear God, it really is. It couldn't be funnier if they tried. Okay, It but, really couldn't. But, Mary, the ignorance in the, in the public shows in the results. If yes. We're we're now seven months, eight months into the worst global plant pandemic to ever hit a human beings, and yet more people survive this year than than should have. Well, you know, I've got to say, Rona has been very, very good to me okay. because all other manner of death right, but has been destroyed by the Rona. Okay, there's more. I'm not you. you look, Get me halfway through. Now, what I think they were after was not so much the devastation of killing a, the living of, of us, but making sure the future ones don't reproduce. Oh, yeah. So they isolated, depressed, blah, 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 blah. So even if you're out there boinking, if you're, like, depressed and feeling sick and blah, 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 your body will get, you know, you'll enjoy your sex, but your your body won't be in any uh, condition to reproduce. Yeah. The elements that need to be available to you, you gave them up somehow. But it's not like you get get a choice in any of this stuff. The, the governments are choosing for us. And I thought Actually, of that. Actually, the governments, it's, it's another one of those Hegelian dialectic things. You know, mm. they have this problem, mm. but they have this solution. Mm. Hmm. So how do we reduce the population? Mm. Oh, <laughs> let's convince them that it's for their own good to go and get this inoculation that just happens to make their little swimmers no longer swim. Mm. That just happens to make it to where the women can no longer get pregnant or carry to full term and (laughs) let's convince them to volunteer for it Mm. so that way all we have to do is say well all we did was offer you an inoculation right you did it yourself okay but i think where i'm going with this is uh i'm living in a place where they encourage um population they want a bigger domestic population more mm-hmm. Danes, right? Mm-hmm. So when I, it dawned on me that, wow, they didn't lock the Danes down by force. It was all voluntary. If you want to go out, go out. But we're going to shut some businesses down. 
They fucked us on the businesses, but not the ability to leave the house. So I started to, th to think, okay, this just reeks of more and more of commerce here and not so much the physical control because they do want more Danes. So they're, they're less... Uh, they're less apt to go for the negative shit that's going to kill off their population. So, in other words, they're not going to recommend the inoculation. Oh, that, that's not even going to come up here. The, the Whoever they have in charge, I've been following a little bit. Circle, show me some the local Danish links and mm -hmm. tell me what's going on. And the the guy in charge of the medical here that's the like the Danish equal of Fauci in America is the exact opposite. He's telling people what, you know, the mass ain't working, but he's going along with the COVID crap to keep the crap going. Then nobody will just come right out and say, look, it's been exaggerated. Go home. It's over. They're still milking it. Hmm. Well, if they, if, if you give it up as you end up like the link that, um, uh, Grim posted, if you come forward and open up and tell the fucking truth, they get rid of you. They block you. So you, the, the guys that are, are telling the truth have to at least play the game here, or they're going to get shut up too. That's the narrative. Yeah. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. Okay. Well, the women wanted control, and they got it. And it's on them. Yeah. Okay, well, the women here aren't psychos, and they don't think s smothering babies' faces with cloth and locking them up in a room is smart. It's not a good way to raise a kid. So it was easier no. to convince them <clears throat> that there was something wrong with this COVID story than it is in America. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the, the, There's countries in Africa that the, the leaders in those countries, mm. if you are to believe that that is exactly who it is, are saying, no, nah, we know this is bullshit and we want nothing to do with your test kits or your vaccine. So there you go. Okay. Well, I think that the lockdown, the reason that that whole concept was brought in was to sterilize this. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, man. Isolated, forced isolation. Wow. Stuck in one place. You can't go. You leave, you could end up in jail for leaving. What? Just that whole idea would throw me the fuck off balance. I, I don't think I could handle it. I'm a free being. I might be married, but still. I mean, if I want to leave the house, I just get up and go. I need a bag. Honey, I'm going to go have a couple beers. Be back later. Not sneak out or any of that bullshit. Yeah. So why, if I'm not willing to live like that with a woman, why would I be willing to let a government dictate shit to me? Uh, Cirque's really nervous about if the state goes that way, what I might do. <laughs> so, hmm. But we're right next door to Sweden, and Sweden never locked down. They ain't going to lock down. And it's the fucking craziest country in the fucking world to live in. No other American that lives there can prove that. You know, he's proven it to me with his version of what's gone on. So, hmm. But, hmm. hey, I want, I want to live free before anything else in life. You know, it, being with Cirque is a partnership. So that's hmm, still kind of free. It's not the confining ball and chain that I probably make it sound like sometimes. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. But the comfort level kind of balances all that stuff out so we don't spend any time at talking about it's on the radio for something to bullshit about. But, yeah. But as far as the reality goes, wow. My reality is so different from, say, uh, let me... I don't know. I'd have to use somebody in the reallibertymedia.com chat. <laughs> uh, well, my life is similar to mental. Mental knows me. Yeah. So, you know, there's witnesses to the truth. And that's, that's, what, you know, that's what we do. <laughs> we get to see the truth and we know what it is. And then you try to tell somebody else what you saw and they don't understand what you're talking about. And life goes on. <laughs> right? Right, mental pancakes? 
because my advice to Mental was I th- I thought he knew the answer. The, inside him, it was it, it was in him. I I don't know. I might help you find it, but I don't know what the fuck it is. Because that's a, that's what I took from other people. They would say those things, maybe not in those words, but that's my version of that comment. You know? Whatever you're looking for, you already have it. You just don't know what you're you know you're not, just not seeing it correctly yet. <laughs> It's in you. Yeah. Yeah, like my God theory about, hey, you want to find God, go look in the mirror. And they go, what? You're nuts. No, cause oh, what, man. When and, you, you know, I said something along those lines years yeah. ago in a group on Facebook yeah. and got called a heretic. <laughs> and, I mean, this was a group wow. that was supposed to be about against big government control, against yeah. these um, – <clears throat> established whatever yeah. and i thought okay one person called me a heretic whatever you know no big deal <laughs> mary the heretic but when yeah. half the page started calling me a heretic i just finally <laughs> went you know what y'all you're supposed to be such free thinkers you're supposed to be so anti-establishment you're supposed to be you know you claim to be all of these people that are thinking outside the box mm-hmm. And yet you get one comment that is outside your little paradigm box, and all of a sudden, heretic, get out the torches, get out the tar and feather, we're going to have to light this one up. Guess what? Y'all can have your little group all to yourself, because I'm out of here. And I, I, you know, and a couple of the people that had actually invited me into the group asked me later, so why did you leave? It was just getting good. And it's like, yeah, yeah, it was getting real good to sit back with popcorn. And watch that, you know, it gets to the point where it's, you know, you finally say, okay, I don't need to put up with this shit anymore. When someone says, I hope you're raped by 50 Muslims, that's when I kind of went, hmm, well, aren't you special? I think I'll just leave now. Friends okay? like that. Yeah. Who hmm. needs animus? Okay. Yes. So, so, so let me finish my thing about the eye. That was, sorry. Oh, yeah, that was a nice detour. So, I would use that comment and say to other people, and the reason that it came to me in the first place is I've got really, really bad eyesight, so I appreciate what I can see. And as an artist, I find one of the most beautiful parts of the human anatomy is the eye. (laughs) So, I know not the boobs, not the cha-cha, not the butt. No, actually, the human eye. And the reason I think that if you want to find God, look in a mirror is, I mean, look real deep in your own eye. <laughs> if you can handle oh, that, wow. yeah, because it's not easy to do. <clears throat> you no, feel weird doing it, for one. So that tell, told me when I tried it, I thought, wow, this has got to go somewhere. This is like a drug. Because hmm. deep within yourself, you know, that's where you live, not <clears throat> Not all this outside touching the table and looking at a screen and reading fun fun stuff and seeing videos. That's not the living. The living is something different. But through the commerce markets and <clears throat> the educators and the pol- politicians and the ed- and the religious, they've all managed to tell us what we're doing. And I took a step further and said, I don't think so, Charlie. I'll play your games if they're going to benefit me, but if your game does not benefit me, I don't play it. Yeah. There you go. The And it's all because once upon a time, I looked deep into myself and decided what I wanted to do. Ah. Mm. Yeah, well, <clears throat> I know it, it's a line out of the, out of the movie, but I'm ver- I'm look look into your own eyeball. It's it's a deep thing to do. You're looking into yourself, whatever that is, and you're the only one that can do it. I can't do it for you. But people, yeah. you know, we always talk in the sense of you and us and them and all that horse shit. And the reality of it, none of that's real. It's just about me, to me. And I would assume for yeah. the world that. You're the same. You're living your life, not my life. I'm just 
some something to play with along the road. You know, hey, let's go have a conversation and make bad jokes and talk about the COVID. But it's it doesn't physically affect you. But it could. Yeah. Oh, you could let my opinions drive you up the fucking wall and make you angry if you wanted to. But something about how me and Mary's uh, radio relationship, I guess, how it evolved, we've always been on equal platform. Yeah. Looking yeah. across the table, nobody's higher, nobody's lower. It was just, I don't know, just kind of worked that way. Except for this is your dork show. Because, you know, it was your idea, and so it's like, okay, well, it's, it's Flash's way, dork show. Yeah, thing. it's way more fun to do with you here. Yeah. And then sometimes I get, you know, I get isolated, and i got to do a solo, and I think it, when I'm doing it, oh, man, this must be horrible. And every now and again, they just, uh, and then sometimes they're, wow, did I, I didn't know I was that smart. <laughs> there you go. But that's just my opinion. Well. And, you know, opinions are, are wonderful things. Everybody's got one. Mm. And there is an awful lot of people that I'm ever so thankful that they have their opinion and I have mine. Mm. Because if the roles were reversed, I don't know that I would be so happy with my opinion if, if, if I had theirs. I, mm. And I'm sure that they probably wouldn't be as happy with their opinion if they had mine. Wow. So, you know, I'm I'm pleased that some people, hmm. you know, you have your opinion and thank you for stepping up and having that opinion because I kind of happen to like the one I've got. And so I'll just keep it, okay? Oh, yeah. So, Other people reinforce your beliefs with theirs. Well. Yeah, and go back to that word you hate too, beliefs, because... I believe a lot of this stuff is based on that word because we're we're taught to adjust to it. It controls us, and we think we're controlling something else, but that's not the reality of it. There's nothing to control in this whole fucking life for me except me. Yeah. At all. I don't control Cirque or the dog or the cat, and all three of them are high strung. <laughs> It's like yeah. the energy level is just, wow, it's amazing. But I'm in control of myself to a level where I can look upon it and not get sucked into it. Maybe that's maturity. Could be. Hmm? Maybe could just be that's why done. I, uh, uh, well, that's why the age thing doesn't interfere in so much is because the balance is good. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm running out of years. She's not. She's got a long way ahead of her. Well, well, and yet there could be a giant meteor and you both go at the same time. Well, we're hoping, yeah, we, we said if if they do that to us, I hope you're home from work and sit on the porch and watch the cucumbers die. There you go. But so far, so good. I think it's all a bluff in the first place. You show people pictures of shit that explodes. You keep them in fear. You tell them there's invisible things that can kill them. You tell them people died of it. And boom, you've got a bunch of people willing to do whatever you say. Why? Because that's what they were taught to do. There's no other mm -hmm. reason. We're supposed to be <clears throat> excuse me, free, individual, living human beings, not clusters of fucking idiots. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, well, the Rockefellers found a shortcut to making a whole fucking world full of monkeys. And they took it, and they call it medicine, and most people that use medicine are being abused by medicine. And the results of all that are all this COVID nonsense reaction. Healthy people don't need to be afraid of a fucking flu. It's insane. It's beyond insane. It's embarrassing. And you know what's really crazy hmm. is a lot of those people that are taking multiple prescription medications yeah. because they're yeah. prescription medications yeah. look down on people that do drugs. Yeah. Oh, man. And they're the ones that are in the bad shape. Yeah. Wow. And, you know, by their definition, someone that does is a druggie is someone that smokes pot occasionally. <laughs> you druggie. Yeah. Yeah. How many prescriptions are you on again? <laughs> that many? Yeah. All right, thank you. 
And most of them will say the first one will be blood, high blood pressure or the other one is uh, diabetes. And I think they're yeah, both manu- cholesterol. Yeah, they're both manufactured through the food supply. If you don't eat certain foods, you're all right. Yeah. If you know what to eat to prevent things from getting inflamed in the first place, then some things never even happen. Yeah. And guess who? Guess who's not going to be on the radio with me uh, on her birthday this year? Me, because my birthday is not on a day that I'm on the radio. Ha ha so, ha ha ha. Is, yeah, is Wayne going to wine you and dine you and do all that romantical stuff? You know what's funny? Hmm. <clears throat> is out here restaurants are open on Sundays, but then they close on Mondays. <laughs> Oh, no. He's going to have to cook dinner for you. Ooh. Yep. Is, yep. He, is he good in the cooking? He is a good cook, okay. but right. odds are if the weather is nice, he's going to be out in the field. Oh, working a working so. romantic day. So you'll split and the work like usual and you'll cook dinner in his stead? Yeah. Ah, look much. at you. Uh, it'll see? just be it's just another day i mean we didn't do anything fancy for his birthday either oh so. i know that but it's traditional to make a big hoopla out of it it's polite i know, you know? well it, to me the it, other day actually it was last night he asked me hmm? what do you want for your birthday and i said to wake up and there and you go looked at me Jeez. and i said oh and i would like to wake up next to you wow uh, I, and I hope, and I hope your yeah, son-in-law. And he just smiled and gave me a hug, and it's like, see, there you go. I'm a cheap date. I hope your son-in-law <laughs> reads a book. Well. Okay, that's my gift to you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, because when people in your life are are being uh, obstinate and they think they're doing the right thing, and they're still, it's fucked. You can't tell a guy yeah. he's wrong when he's wrong because he's wrong. He's got to find that out for himself. Yeah. Or herself, you know, whatever. But usually, yeah, guys are way worse, I think, on the stubborn side. It's hard It's hard enough for people to admit when they're wrong. I don't yeah. think I have that big of a problem about that. When I make a mistake, it's like, ah, I fucking do that all the time. I talk like a yo-yo. So what? You know, I never said I was uh, Donald fucking Trump, Johnny. <laughs> Donald Trump. There you go. <laughs> the best of the fucking best. Oh, God. You guys are... I'd be so bored without America being in the shithole it's in right now. I'd have nothing to complain about. Life would be perfect if my homeland was where it was when I left it. And it was kind of shady yeah. when I left it, but at least people were free on the, you know, the the appearance of it. And then they came up with this COVID crap and how the fuck they talk people into believing this horse shit. Locking down businesses. You can't do business, but Walmart can do business. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. You just told me I can't do business. Well, how come the people... Only essential. Yeah, how come the people that did little business, didn't they put up a fight? Or were they just strong-armed by the uh, enforcement and forced out at gunpoint? I mean, how did this work? Um, I know Lisa B. was trying to fight it. And then they pretty much let her know, you fight it, we pull your license. Uh, and there were other stylists where she is that said, and we'll turn your ass in if we see you have customers. And I thought, wow, wow. how fucking low can you get? Wow. Yeah. These are people that know each other, too. Yeah. Actually, a couple of those stylists, because, you know, stylists a lot of times don't do their own hair. They have another stylist. Too. And so a couple of these stylists were people that would come to Lisa to have her do their hair for them. And they said, well, we'll just report you if you try and do it during this shutdown. And all this is, and still again, back to the horrible word, this is all based on the the threat of the COVID. This is all threat and people telling you stories and exaggerations. And why doesn't the person listening take the time to look up on the internet, right in front of them most of the time, 
the truth about this. What's the missing component? I don't get it. Or is it when you ask the computer a question, it goes right to promoting the corona nonsense? So you believe it's real? I, mm, I don't. I don't believe anything anymore. There's a lot of things I think. Yeah. Well, me and you got we got such a we have such a different way of looking at the world too compared to most folk. You know, if you're going to compare me or you to anybody else, there's only a few. There's, you know, so hmm, the majority out there in the world at large, it's a, it's a, it's doomed. I think I'm trying to find a nice way to put it, but I can't. They're they're obviously killing off the sick, the poor, and the old right in front of us with all these magic tricks. And getting away with it. Mm. Oh, come on. Protesting BL and Black Lives fucking matter. Are you out of your mind? What fucking... What, what in the first place, that whole sentence doesn't make any sense. What does that even mean, Black Lives Matter? I don't Shut know, up. but, you know, some sometimes people do stuff just to see how far they can push. Did you notice the they're they white can... people that are supporting this stupidity? Oh, there are white people getting in the face of black people and telling them, I'm more black than you on the inside. Oh. Really? I <laughs> Oreo cookies. How special are you? Really? <laughs> there seriously are idiots like that out there. I'm more black than you. Okay, go ahead and call me an Uncle Tom then. Why wow. don't you get it out of the way? And, and people Holy wonder. Holy shit. And they wonder why I make fun of race. I mean, crying out loud. How can you not? It's it's beyond stupid, the whole race thing. Jew, Mexican, Well, yeah, there is American. no such thing as race. There are ethnicities, well, yeah, but yeah. there it's no such critter as race, unless for the human race. It is one race. There's lots of ethnicities. There's lots yeah. of different cultural yeah. things. But yeah. it's a fucking human race. Well, I think most of the world, and besides where people have done a lot of traveling, there's lots of places where they didn't. And those places are, they're going to survive. And the big places yeah. where it's overcrowded and there's not enough food to go around and the government has control, that's where all your hot spots trouble are going to be to keep the attention on it so you can justify this fucking government with where without this government, these problems would not happen. <laughs> See? It's yeah. the greed. The greed of being the biggest country in the world. Fuck you. 50 states, 50 United States. That was a wordplay I didn't get into for years. Yeah, they're united of each other. <laughs> they're not, they're under under one thumb. You got the gold yes. fucking ring of Washington, D.C. shoved so far up your ass, you don't even know it's there anymore. You kind of like the thumb. Oh, I've grown accustomed to your thumb, sir. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's it's embarrassing. Okay, where I'm is sorry, something? but I I didn't grow up to to succumb to some suit and tie banker politician prick telling me to put a mask on. Fuck you, you put it on. <laughs> yeah. See, and what what amazes what? me is is it has gotten people to instead of. Believing what they're seeing, what's yeah. right in yeah. front of them, what's going on around them. Okay. They're going to take the word of someone who has never met them, never heard of them, could give two shits less about them. They're going to take their word for, I'm doing this for your hell. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. I guess the game will just play out however it plays out. But the performance that I'm reading about is very disturbing. you know. And I got you going off on, on the Trump thing in the beginning of the show because every fucking thing the government says they ain't doing, they do. And the things they say they're not doing, well, those things they do. The things they say they're well, going to do, they don't do. Yeah, That's and every know. time they name a bill... Mm -hmm. Or something along the or an agency, mm -hmm. it always does the exact opposite of what the name is. 
yeah. of the Affordable Care Act. Look oh, out! God. Don't bend over whatever you do, because there will be no lubrication used when they ram that up your ass. Do not get That's pretty sick. Much. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> and they care about your health so that they can afford the next townhouse hmm. or yacht or fancy car or hmm. whatever. That's the only reason they care about your health, because you are of income stream to them. They are, and you know, you should, just by looking at the way the verbiage has changed, you know, kind of like peacekeeper to police officer to law enforcement officer. Well, it was doctor, then it was healthcare professional, and now it's a health management specialist. Okay, George. They manage your health. Oh, I know. Well, you, you've been through it <clears throat> and seen it through your mother. Mm hmm. So mm -hmm. you've got that luxury of experience where other people are just reading news clips. Mm -hmm. They're hearing stories about other people they don't know. When it hits home and you go through it yourself, wow, it's a whole different story. Yeah. And a lot of people, they're like, well, but your mom was in a uh, assisted living or a rehab center. Yeah, she preferred actually being in the hospital because... I know, weird as it sounds, the hospital, she was allowed to have visitors. In the rehab center, she was not. So when she was sick enough to be in the hospital, it was okay for her to have visitors. But as she was recovering and getting better and being prepared to go home, can't have any visitors here because you're feeling better. We can't let you have visitors. Really? Yeah, calm down. I mean, it's... It's just, ab it's like you said, every it's bass backwards yep. asinine. Well, that's it, and you've got to go through this episode of something personally to finally realize, well, this is absolutely the opposite of what I've been believing, because it's a story you're being told. Okay. okay. That's all it is. If you, you know, No matter who you are, where you're at, Unless you're a doctor and you're out there fighting on the front lines, then it's just a story you're hearing. And oh, yeah. I still have yet to meet anybody that knows anybody that's died of the COVID yet. We ask every time we meet. Yeah, I, have, I haven't met anyone yet. So, yeah. Whatever. You know, of course, there are some people that die with it. Yeah, and but not on the birth or yeah. on the death certificate. Yeah. I should yeah. say birth certificate because they're getting birthed out of this world into one that ain't mm. near. Hopefully, mm. ain't as crazy as this one. Mm. But ugh. it's like, oh, but the hospital gets forty five grand if they actually treated someone that died of the COVID. Okay, well, I guess at the end of the show here, I just wanted to make clear that. What I'm really drilling at about all this COVID shit is it's being kept alive through the media and now the Internet. So they've got the uh -huh. audience. Yeah. Now, the only thing you can do now is pick a side. So they've got controlled opposition and two people willing to fight over something that is immaterial. It's stupid. It doesn't matter in the first place. But. It, ma it matters because they're taking an action. If no action at all was taken, nothing would happen. See, you got to have the antagonist in there to push somebody to violence or this thing falls apart. So so when I poke the bear, that's that's initiating violence? Mm -hmm. Like I go, yeah. yo, dude, seriously? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. I'm inciting violence. Okay. Yeah, in, in just, a sense. Just for yeah, clarification. I think so. Because uh, if you argue, there's no debate to this. This is uh, these people have made a decision based on a story that they refuse to show or look at any real proof of it. They, it's like the Bible. The Bible said so. They're right there on every other page. Eat it. Mm -hmm. See, they're doing that shit. It, well, why? Because they're hardwired to follow the fucking herd. They're going to be the ones that, okay, but you got to say goodbye to these people and just accept they're going to die way before you do because they're willing to go along 
with the thing that's obviously designed to kill us. It's complying to the rules of COVID. It puts you in a deficit, so you'll come out of it sick. If you're not sick on your way in, you'll be sick on your way out come to, uh, the, the uh, winter time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because the second wave, and here all these years, I thought the second wave was just my upper arm. You know, when I'm waving at someone and the upper arm starts no, it'll, it'll be the results. That's my of, second wave. It'll be the results of compliance to the COVID mandates. If you volunteered or not, if you were forced to or you volunteered, there's going to be a price to pay for wearing these fucking masks when you stop doing it. It's all part of a plan. You'll see. It'll unravel like a spaghetti noodle, like it always does. I'm watching a movie, Mary. I know I know the next step. <laughs> Sweet. I'm insane. I think I can read the future by taking a good look at the past and hanging out with people like Larry and Rob. There you go. Well, at least if, if I'm wrong, things will be better. And if I'm right, ooh, that's just because I'm paying attention. So hmm. let's hope I'm wrong. <sighs> Dorking right, with me, wrong, Miss Mary. Different. You yeah, are I know. you are a dorker, a dorker. I tell you. And uh, Come on. Are you gonna be around Come Tuesday, on. or or are you gonna take that night off and evaporate? Yeah, Tuesday I'll be around. Okay. Um, and as far as I know, I'll be a, well. Well, I'll Grim, be at Grim, the house Monday, but Grim Wednesday likes I to know. Be, so I'm not. So I like to let him know ahead of time. Yeah. And so. Yeah, I should be around Tuesday. Yeah, we will um, be. Now next Saturday, I'm not real sure because I may head to Hayes on Wednesday and stay for a couple of days. So. Good. <laughs> Good. Excellent. So. I hope you go. Yeah. Yeah, go hang out with mom and and tell her, damn, mom, you guys been busy. Mm. Oh, and I got to tell you, Rochelle and I, because mom, mom has been saying that you know she's in the twilight zone, and I've been trying to get her to stop saying that because I tell her, you know, you need to you need to be careful of your self talk, and when you say you're <clears throat> you're in the twilight zone, you're just reinforcing yourself in this la la land that just plain quite can't quite connect. So. I said, we need to come up with a different thing for you to say that you're doing. And my niece, Rochelle, said, Grandma, just say that you're you're collecting your bearings. And I went, there you go. Hmm. You're gathering your bearings. Hmm. Okay, getting your bearings straight. So every time when I talk to her and Rochelle puts it, you know, she asks if it's okay with Mom. And she puts it on speakerphone and we'll all three be chatting. And Mom will start saying, well, you know, I'm kind of in the twilight zone. And it's like, Mom? That little you inside there is just waiting for you to say that so it can kick back and go, nope, don't have to do nothing, don't have to think. She said, it's okay for me to be in the twilight zone. You need to be gathering your bearings because then that little you inside your head runs around like crazy. Ooh, there's a bearing and there's a bearing and it's gathering them all up. And if I'm not saying something like that, Rochelle is. So I really think every time that we have talked, you know, kind of done a little group phone call, Mom gets a little bit more cognizant and a little bit more cognizant. And I've actually asked Rochelle uh, when mom got up to go to the bathroom or whatever. And she said that she really is saying Twilight Zone less. So she, it's mm. connecting. Okay. And yeah. hopefully, you know, the drugs are not messing with that. But she is – your self-talk is important, people. Remember how you talk to yourself because the little you inside your head <laughs> yeah. is always listening. Yeah. So that's that was the message I wanted to get out. Payback can so. be a mofo. Huh? Yes, it can. And so sometimes I love you all. Mom. Thank you all. Get away with murder. All right. So let me yeah. let me get my bearings here. We're at the end of the dork table. Thanks a lot, everybody, for hanging around with us and being a dorkular and such. Yes. I'm getting the podcast thing here so I can close the show and give Grim his radio back. Yay! Oh, yeah, because we do Y'all have an awesome weekend. See you in the funny papers. Well, so you think. Later, everybody. Later.